Hello everyone, welcome to game number 70 here of Cheese League Baseball. We have the Olympians versus the Colonels at beautiful Colonial Plaza. The Olympians have Wilder Bobbert on the mound today and Finn Burdock gets the nod from the home team Colonels. Curdy Hooper leads it off for the Olympians. And there's a strike, 97 on the gun there for Burdock. And that one's fouled. Away, maybe, and ah, very good try there by Gangnam on that first. Gertie Booper's juiced. Let's see if that does anything. Grounded to Davis at third today. And Tenders coming first. One out. Brings up Ellie Mullins, who's also juiced. Ball inside. One and out. And grounded to Jeffries. On the second out. Trickster, who's also juiced. Are all the Olympians hitters juiced? I think this is very unfair to the Colonels. One and one to Trickster. That one's fouled away. Let's take a look here quick. Uh, maybe not quick at Burdock. Yes. Liner there to Nicholson for the final out. So we'll take a look a little bit more at Burdock. He's back on the mound. We go to the bottom part of the first. Vicente Jeffries leads it off for the Colonels as Bobbert steps on the mound. And there's a ball. One and two now. Jeffries. It's fouled away. And popped up. In to no. Whoa! Look at that. Gertie Booper, the nice diving catch. And that one's fouled off as Hendricks steps in. And ball outside, 2-1 now. And foul ball, lots of foul territory here at Colonial Plaza. And that one's grounded down the left field line. That's off of that Bowles glove there. Runner gets the second. We got a base runner here. So Thicket steps in now with one out, runner on second for the Colonels. Well, we have the chance. Let's take a look here at Bobbert. Four seamer slider, curveball change, and fork ball. That was diving stop there by Bernal. Put it away for the second out. And that's, that brings in Davis, who's juiced on the Colonels side. Bobbert's more of a velocity pitcher, so more of a power pitcher than jumper accuracy. There's three note out at Davis. That one's hit quite well. I think he just got under it. Fouls there, put away for the final out. So the Colonel's threatened there in the bottom of the first. They're unable to produce, but I think they might have got to Bobbert a little bit. All right, let's take a look here at Burdock as Hull steps in. Four-seamer, two-seamer, cut fastball, curveball, and change. Again, another velocity junk pitcher, and he gets him. It's Hull striking out there. So Neil Shaw, who is juiced as well for the Olympians. Shaw's among the league leaders here in RBIs. Hitting 318 with four homers and 15 ribbies. 3-0 to Shaw, and he walks him. The Burdock walks Shaw, and that brings up Bernal. Been hitting quite well all season, really. The runner goes. Shaw's a great base stealer, and they get him. Nice. Nice little throw there behind the plate. I believe that's Wentz catching today. And Two and two now on Bernal. And a little two out base hit up the middle. Now batting, the and first Spencer Panada comes in now. Number 15. Runner goes. And again, thrown out. Wow. Lando Wentz behind the plate. Just make him work of these Olympians. Base stealers. Fantastic. 
what we like to see from our catchers. Corbin Fry now. Number five hitter today, playing right field. Grounded to Panada at first. He takes it himself for the first out. And brings up Wentz. He's hitting 080 this season, but boy, does he have a gun behind the plate. That one is squibbed down to Bowles for the second out. And voices Nicholson, who's playing shortstop today for the Corn Cob crew. And right back to Bobber for the final out of the inning. Go now to the top of the third, the bottom part of the order up for the Olympians. Panada leads it off. Number 15. Burdock's looking pretty comfortable out there. 27 pitches now. As that one has popped up into foul territory. Let's see. Davis is there put away for the first out. Foul steps in now. That one's popped up. is there to put it away for the second out. The third number Brings up Bowles. Bowles is feeling tense still. We're hitting buck 84 so far this season. Another one of those hitters, you know, across Cheese League Baseball, would like to kind of get hot here in the second half. And see what they can put together. And he struck him out. Nice looping curveball freezes him on the outside part of the plate. Good pitching there by Burdock. Brings up Leon Sanford. 8 9 and 1 due up here in the third inning for the Colonels. See Wilder Bobber DRA. It's pretty inflated. He started the game around, hovering around 11. Now he's at 9.69. That's a ball there. 2 and 2 to Sanford. That one's grounded Panada. He takes it himself for the first out. Bobber would like to get something going here pitching wise. He has no decision yet this year. He's been kind of roughed up at the Olympians' rotation as Maddox steps in. There's one and one now. There's a foul ball. Two and two. And he gets him. Bobbert strikes him out. That brings up Jeffries, who's 0 for 1 today. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. The 1 out of Jeffries. And there's a strike in the outside part of the plate. Grounded to Booper for the final out. Top of the order due up. Now for the Olympians in the top of the fourth. Now batting the shortstop. Cooper's 0 for 1 today. Burdock's looking comfortable out there. Locked in so far. He's 0 for 2 this year as Cooper pops that one up. And Sanford's there to put away for the first out. The second baseman, number 14. So Burdock would like to get a win out of this game, especially against the. That one's off of. <laughs> Off of Gangnam's glove to Jeffries, he recovered, or uh, Hendricks' glove, rather. Number 13. Recovers. Second out. Saying Burdock would like to get a win against the best team here in the Cheese League. That's three known out of tricks there. Yeah. Walker. Olympians are 10 and 4. The Colonels are 6 and 8. Number 16. So they're battling back. Fouled off, and I think that's going to get just on top of the Colonel's dugout. Marty Hall, one and one now. Two and one to Hall. And three one. Popped up a mile high, home run into Silo. And Nicholson puts it away for the third out. 
2-3-4 do up now for the Colonels in the bottom part of the fourth. We got a little pitcher's duel brewing here. Each team only has one hit. It's really hard to believe. There's a hard hit ball, but right at foul. Foul didn't even have to move. Boy, Hendricks hit that right on the button there, but right at foul. This thicket steps in now. One and one to thicket. One and two. And two and two. And works the count full. That one's hit to Booper. Across the diamond for the second out. Aldo Davis steps in. He's at 0 for 1 today, as many hitters are. But feeling juiced. And 0 and 2 now on Davis. Grounded. To Bowles at third. Goes across the Panada for the final out. So Colonels go down in order. Bottom part of the fourth, we go to the top of the fifth. And Shaw leads it off for the Olympians. Grounded to Nicholson. Across the diamond. Hendricks for the first out. The right fielder, number 19. And Bernal steps in. The 2 1 now to Bernal. Burdock delivers and 3 1. And got him to chase and foul that off. Full count. They go up the ladder. Down and in. Jeffries is there for the second out. The first baseman. And Panada steps in. Panada's feeling tense. Should be more of a power hitting first baseman, but he's hitting 243 with no homers and two hits this season. That one's a base hit past the diving Jeffries, so we have a base runner. Seems very rare this game. <laughs> so Panada's on first. Foul steps in. With two outs here in the top of the fifth. And there's a base hit, so foul with a base hit. Two out hit now. So the Olympians have runners on first and second. That brings up Liam Bowles. And we're actually going to have a pinch hitter now as Marley Zuniga comes in. Now it's grounded. To Davis for the final out. So the Olympians leave a pair of runners stranded. Another big goose egg here. Go to the bottom of the fifth. Five, six, and seven do up for the Colonels. And we're going to have a defensive replacement now at third. Chuck Evans comes in at third base. First baseline, one and two on Fry. Lefty hurler delivers. To Panada, he takes it himself for the first half. Wentz steps in, he's 077. He's really, really struggled this year. Foul. That's the Olympians dug out. And that is snagged there by Evans. Good play. And they're at third base. Two outs now. Nicholson steps in. A little defensive adjustment there. The infield's guarding the lines. I don't want to give away any extra base hits. As Nicholson pops this one up to Bernal for the final out. Top of the order, two up here for the Olympians now in the top of the sixth. Scores all knotted up at nothing. And Burdock is still in there working away. 61 pitches now as one's grounded Nicholson for the first out. Brings the belly Mullins. 0 for 2 today. Lines that one right at Hendricks with the second out. Trickster now. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. It's a strike. And 
and there is snagged by Davis. Down go the Olympians in order. Eight, nine, and one do up for the Colonels. In the bottom part of the frame. Number eight. Bobbert's still in there working away too. 61 pitches now, so pretty even there with, with Burdock. Both pitchers are pretty locked in. Whiffer activated for Sanford, one and two. Try to get him a, try to tie him up there. That one's hit. Fouls right there for the first out. Max steps in. Go for one. I'm actually surprised they're not pinch hitting here for Maddox. 95 in the gun there for Bobber. So he's still dealing. Let's hit the Panada. Takes it himself there for the second out. And top of the order up, Jeffries now, with two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. And that one is hit, and off Evans' glove. Runners going to second, and he slides in safely, so. Tough, tough day for the Olympians' third baseman. Bowles had the one went off his glove, and now off Evans. And oh, they plunk. <laughs> they plunk Hendricks right in the back there. So now two on, two outs for John Thicket. And he quickly lines out to Panada to end the inning. Did you see our sponsor there, Pyramid Investments? It's in the shape of a pyramid, it's a good investment. So shout out to our other sponsor, Just Spend Money. 2-1 now to Hull. Uh, big break and pitch there from Burdock. One and he walks Hull. So Olympians have a base runner here in the top of the seventh. Neil Shaw steps in. He's a 0-for-1 with a walk. No threat to run there on first. I think there's going to be some activity down in the Colonel's bullpen now. The two and one now to Shaw. Get some swing, two and two. And freezes him, Burdock. Boy, what a good pitching performance for Burdock today. That's definitely what the Corn Cob fans needed. They really, really needed a good outing from one of their starters. Bernal steps in now, one and one on Bernal. Now the two and one. Runner goes. A little hit and run action here. So Bernal sneaks one through the right side. Now batting, the first base Runners on first and second. Panada comes in. One out, top of the seventh. And swings to that. 88 from Burdock, so he's still kind of dealing there. Davis to Jeffries to Hendricks. Good pick there by Hendricks at first base. The 5-4-3 double play to end the inning. So the heart of the order up now for the Colonels. Oh, that one's hit right back at Bobber. Knocks him down. And oh my gosh, the Olympians are just throwing the ball around now. Bernal picks it up. Runner goes all the way to third. And let's see if Bobber is injured. And yes, he is. Blaze comes in. Bobbert's in extreme pain from that comebacker. Let's see if this does it. Pop up to Shaw. Runner comes home, play at the plate. Safe. And just like that, Colonels win in dramatic fashion here in the bottom of the seventh. Wow, what a game there. Take a look at the lines. 0-4 and 1 for the Olympians. 1-3 and 0 for the Colonels. Not a lot of hitting, a lot of offense whatsoever, but the dramatic finish. The Olympians go to 10 and 5. The Colonels improve to 7 and 8 now. Take a look at the offense. Not a lot. Bernal 2 for 3. Panada 1 for 3. Foul one for two on the Olympian side. On the Colonel side, 
Jeffries and Hendricks both had hits. Davis had a hit. And Fry had the game-winning RBI sack fly. And that's how it plays out on that side. Bobbert gets the loss. Burdock gets the win. Burdock's first win of the season is very good ERA there for Burdock. 3.60 despite only having one win. Uh, Bobbert proves his ERA to 7.94. This is his first decision, actually. And unfortunately, he gets the loss. Let's take a look at the top three players now. Finn Burdock gets the shout out, the complete game. Four hits, three walks, and three strikeouts. Bobbert gets a shout out as well. Six innings pitch, three hits, one earned run, one strikeout. Unfortunately, in extreme pain is the yeah, hit from that comebacker. And Hendricks, the only other bright spot in terms of offense that we could talk about is Hendricks one for two with a double. That's how game number 70 ends here, folks. We have 50 more games coming at you here on Cheese League Baseball. So if you like this game, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to our channel for more Cheese League Baseball action here on Geek Cheese on YouTube. And follow us on Twitter at geek underscore cheese for all your Cheese League Baseball news and updates and other fun stuff. And that's how we end it. Game number 70 in the books. Colonels win. Take care. Bye.